So I've already loosened up some of the bolts. I want to try to get, at least get this fender off. Um, I'm pretty sure I might not be able to today, but at least I want to start the process. Because I want to see what more damage is going on underneath with the wheel well. And I kind of figured, well, this had the 351 Windsor, but I don't know if it had like a two barrel or four barrel or what, because I want to get to that VIN number. And see what it was. But with this dream car, with the 70 Cyclone GT, I'm probably going to turn it into a Coyote build. Along with one of the Grand Torinos, the 72 Grand Torinos, which I've recently fallen in love with. For some reason, it has to be a 72. And I want to try to find a 72 Grand Torino wagon. I'd like to find a sport, but those are kind of far, far in between. So when things get more established here online, I will do a Coyote build, do a Coyote build out of this 70 Cyclone GT and the 72 Grand Torino. And I'll give it some sort of a name. But, uh, yeah, it's still kind of on there. Looks like they actually did use some that stupid putty stuff. Yeah. So this wheel well needs to be replaced with the other one. But if the entire front is no good, then um, once I get the rest of the fence built over here, which is going to have to be next year, because the farmers are using all the posts <laughs> for their fields, and uh, the local uh, shops don't have any uh, six inch by eight foot uh, poles to finish the, the fence, so that's why nothing's really quite finished over here but i still got to swing the fence over but when i get that stuff done um i'm probably going to yank this entire front off once i get uh a mig welder and stuff like that and then just swap fronts if this front cannot be fixed but this side right here is the only one that's bent but i still need to measure and check absolutely everything but I guess enough gabbing. I better uh, see on what else I can loosen up underneath. Because uh, I might actually have to cut this fender to a certain extent. Even though there's not much room. Hmm. Because this fender needs to come off. Because I really do want to find out what's going on here. But I'm going to turn off the camera and work on this a little bit more see what I can because uh, if I can't quite get this off today because uh, I got some stuff going on in the afternoon then I'll just climb into the cab here so let's just see what happens about that falling down nine sixteenths okay if you want to watch me work I'm trying to get some stuff Way, obviously, fender's no good. I'm not worried about it. Or this chrome piece. But uh, some stuff, some extra stuff up in the front. That's kind of catching. I can actually rip that. Let's see about right there. any good well the lens is now it's cracked dang because it's got the Ford emblem on it still uh, the housing's still decent put that on the Pontiac uh, well, I don't think I'll be able to hit the camera stand That should be enough room to get into there. Yeah. Well, guess I'll get the saw saw and cut 
Got it right along there and peel it so I can get to the other stuff right here because it's wedged back behind that door. Ah, I'm gonna have to yank and yank and yank on that stupid generator. I'm gonna get a better one next year. Keep that one back for a spare. Well, took a, not too much, but uh, kept on gripping and, and grabbing right here on the top because you know how it's so greatly smushed together. But now I'm gonna actually get the things back here. Uh, definitely safe to say that this was a yellow car. Uh, so I gotta try to get some stuff on the bottom there. I may have to cut the top right there, or at least try my best not to, but I think I can actually get to that bolt more. But if I have to get that, uh, you know, this bracket right here cut, I'll just get the one off the other car and slap it on. So, not too worried. Uh, and then this spot, I still need to yank it off. So, yeah. <laughs> not too bad, but all right. I'm gonna get back to work here and finish ripping this off. All right, so fender's off. And there's something right here. Whoops. <laughs> whatever that was, it just wiped off the... <laughs> well, whatever. But uh, it's off and definitely safe to say this was a yellow car inside and out. And they painted the interior black. Don't know why. I don't know why. But yeah, there's what's left of the tag. Uh, yeah. So it's really is safe to say that this was a yellow car all the way around with, uh, with the black stripe on the bottom. And I've also noticed something too. Well, first off, this was no good, so I just kind of ripped it off. I'll just put another one on, not a big deal, off the other parts car. But I've also noticed something. This door right here is no good because it's crunched. So this entire door is just junk. So uh, I guess I'm gonna take this off right here. And uh, if it causes some damage right here, you know, I could always get something. But uh, I don't know why. I'm pretty sure the mechanism needs to be opened up on the inside because, you know, it's busted right here. But uh, I guess my next goal is to take stuff off right here. I wanna get into the cab. So I guess I won't be busting that window out. Uh, I mean, I'm not worried whether and everything else has already get, gotten into the cab as it is. But uh, I still like to know why they cut spots in the front and the back like that. And it's an easy fix. I gotta, you know, trim it and make it straight. But yeah, I don't understand. But oh well, I guess I better get this door off and uh, see what comes of it. Fruits of my labor today, by the way, wind sound warning, the door is off. I had to wiggle this around and it came off, so the mechanism might still be okay. I didn't damage or bust anything. And this post, checking it over and over and over, this is still good. And there's one little bang right there. But it's not, again, it's not bent or anything, it's just the door. Ah, it's really, really nice to finally get into one of your dream cars. <sighs> yeah. It's it to say that black interior with yellow paint. Ah, she's been gutted. She's been gutted. I want to sit in that seat. But first, what we got here. Ooh. Okay, we got a battery. Armrest is no good. I'm gonna put this camera down and get this battery out of here. Oh my gosh. That's a very, very old battery. Look at that Gibson. Yeah. I don't know if it's even safe to 
keep. I mean, there's a way you can actually get all the stuff out of it so that way it's not hazardous, but I don't know if I want to mess with it. Oh, here's a... Oh, that's no good. Well, I've been waiting a long time to get into this old girl. Fix that. Let's see here. Um, Montego, but this is Cyclone GT. Huh, must share the same stuff as Montego, I guess. Recommended tire size and inflation pressure, cold. Can I get, pause it if you need to. Hmm. still be used put it right there well <sighs> yeah look at that park reverse neutral drive two and one nope I need the key ah uh. So, let's see if I can actually sit behind the steering wheel. Actually, I can. Less enough weight where I can. Darn near. Oops. Didn't mean to throw the camera off. Now, let's see if we can get this window roll down. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I love it when things work out. Oh. <laughs> See, it will slide back a little bit more, but uh, gotta lose a little bit more weight. Yeah, I know. Here it comes to here comes the wind. That's gonna blow off my deal. Well, uh, I'm not worried about elements getting into the cab. Anything in the sun visor is here. It flies. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's a little car and looks like they took it apart and painted it again. But uh, the next thing I need to do is get this door open. But there's no no proper latch, so I'm gonna have to grab a screwdriver and pop it open and see where the VIN numbers are at. But, uh, uh success. <sighs> Man, this actually sits pretty nice, too. Wow. And the Montego MX, I guess the dashboard share almost the same thing, but this had the extra uh, gauges over here on the side. So... Yeah, because yeah, this uh, had a lot of accessories and everything in it. Oh, man. It feels so nice to sit in your other dream car. Uh, this steering wheel, though, hmm. This is one thing I got to learn how to do is how to re restore steering wheels. It's like that one steering wheel in the, whoops, sorry. It's like that one steering wheel in the 76 Roadrunner, that tough steering wheel. That's going to be interesting to redo because an entire rubber thing, whatever it is, I got to find what the texture is and whatever some materials that they use so I can mock it. But, uh, well, I'm going to crawl out, try to open this other door, the screwdriver, and then I'm going to see, I'm locating the VIN on the door here. Since the VIN on top is gone, I could always get a replacement VIN once I get to locate the stuff over here. Because the local sheriff's really good at that. And uh, go from there, really. So. Ah, uh, man, there's a lot of room in this car. And I'm still a big guy. Of course, not for long. I'm losing weight. A lot of weight. But, uh, but anywho, enough gabbing. Let's get this door open. Well, I can get the stupid door open. Um, mechanism is absolutely shot. Uh... 
don't want to have to roll up the window and go at it in there because you know the window's down and you know it's in the way but I'm gonna do that another day because the wind's picking up and I got some other things to do but uh, yeah, as we look right here uh, I also got an issue this spot right here is kind of weakened I try to open it it's kind of bent in so I'm I think on the other door this one's still saveable but uh, when I take everything else out, I'm probably gonna have to put something up right here, structure of some sort in order to strengthen this. Cause uh, this is, you know, it's kind of concaved in from, from all the bending. I'm gonna have to do that with the other door too. But yeah, it is highly 100% safe to say that this is a yellow car. Yeah. Yellow car through and through with a black interior. So, ah, it's really nice to touch this steering wheel, not gonna lie. So, pretty much ends, well, so I get you guys around here without going into the sun. Yeah, not the best camera guy in the world, but that pretty much sums up today's adventure. Got a lot of stuff done, and next week after the rain and snow arrives, I'll probably mess with that fender or something else, cause, uh, well, Next week was going to be the, if I can keep the camera straight, next, next week was going to be the 58 Biscayne to tear the body off the frame. I'll probably just block it up and get it ready, but uh, for now we have an unexpected snowstorm coming on Sunday and Monday, but uh, it's going to be mixed with rain, so may not be doing much out here, so I'll find something easy to do. Of course, too, I still got to get into the cars and start tearing out the dashboards and work on them during the winter if I can. Uh, yeah. Don't know what else to say other than just I'm extremely happy. I got into the Stanley Cyclone GT Dream Car. Uh, next year, uh, there's a lot of stuff I'm going to be working on. I know people complain about me, you know, working on too many cars. It's like, we're a car channel. What's the, what's the, what's the issue here? But of course, too, don't let people dictate of what we do and what I upload. What we do, what we upload, what I do, and what I upload. Same kind of demeanor. But uh, I just don't understand people. Anywho, that's everything in a nutshell. So this weekend, we'll be going over and looking at the Grand Torinos. And I have an idea on which one I truly want. But we'll talk about that when the time comes. So without further ado, me and Tucker, wherever he is traveling today, I think he's on his way home now. But we wish you all adieu. So we all have a good now. Take care and stay safe. <laughs> See you later.